you should be present everywhere. People feel your absence. Why the God people is not here? You should be there. Because you are the one who made the delicious their events, who made the delicious their lives, who made the delicious their, even their, their sorrows as well. Dissolves. Have you ever seen the salt? When we put some salt in a bottle of glass and we dissolve with spoon, who can see the salt? We can't see the salt. Because salt loses its shape. Salt loses itself, but salt never loses its taste. It relies, although I have been dissolved, but my taste is present in the water. My taste is present in the food. You can dissolve me, but you cannot kill my taste. So, Jesus want the same from their people. If we are very less in number, but people feel that our action, our behavior, our act tell them that these are the people of God. They belong from Jesus. If you want to present the gospel in the Gentiles, you should be act like the fifth gospel. Jesus wants that his people must be dissolved and humble. They have the ability to mold themselves, to judge themselves, but don't leave their saltness. They have to realize their presence by their act, behavior, humility, and blessings. Wherever you are, you act, your act show that you belong from Jesus Christ. You should act like a fifth gospel in the Gentiles. Your community, your home, your city, your town, your around. That by this way you can show the real picture of Jesus' love. What does Jesus has, has taught to us? You can show by your behavior. Salt is also used as a symbol of friendship. In the biblical time, people used salt for seal, for covenant. It is used for the covenant because salt, salt does not change its shape. Salt does not change its color. That's why people used salt as a covenant, as a seal for their commitment. We, uh, mostly we have heard, I cannot dodge this person because I have eaten his salt. We also use this term. We give the priority to the salt. We show that salt is important. If we have eaten his salt, so we cannot dodge this person. This is the quality of salt. What does Jesus want from his people? Jesus wants his people, they must be loyal and trustworthy. They don't dodge people. They don't teach them and don't play their feelings. They must be loyal with everyone as I loyal with them. What does Jesus say? As I loyal with them. So the people of God, they have to loyal with each other as Jesus loyal with us. Mm -hmm. This is a very good example in front of us. So we need to focus what Jesus is doing for us. What the plan Jesus has in our life. If we follow the Jesus, then we will be saltish. If we will not follow the Jesus, then we are the saver. Saver means that salt which trodden under the foot of man. Now it depends on us what kind of salt we would like to be. The trodden salt or the salt who is respectable. The salt who have the ability to dissolve. The salt who is used for, as a symbol of loyalty. There is another good quality in salt. Salt is blessful. Salt has blessing. There is no need to much, too much salt in your food, in your water. Very small quantity, very small quantity when we add 
in our food, it may hold the food saltish. This is another quality of salt. Salt has blessing. It is not to be added much. Its small quantity is enough to make the food delicious and tasty. God's people, although they are less in number, but if they follow the Jesus Christ, they can change the earth. They can make the earth blessful, peacefully. They can bring the people to the God that can add the taste of the life on the earth. If you really want to live the tasteful life, we need to have the strong coordination with Jesus Christ. When we have the coordination with Jesus, then our life will be tasty. Our discussion will be saltish. We should be saltish because it is mentioned in the scripture, in the Holy Bible, keep salt in yourself. Keep salt in yourself. If you see in medical terminology, if we have the dehydration, then we feel weakness. We feel weakness. And doctor prescribed us, you have to go and have, increase your salt. When we increase our salt, our we become on level. So salt is that much important. If we drop our blood pressure, patient can go in coma. He could be expired lack because lack of salt. Salt is that much important. And uh, if we see in the biblical days, we have found salt is a favorite item of the God. When we sacrifice, it is mentioned the priest put salt on the offers, on the sacrification, then they present to the Lord. So you can know the importance of the salt and why Jesus said you people that you are the salt. Salt is blessful as I told you people. So if we are less as salt less used in food and it makes the food delicious. Although we are less in number but without us the world is savor tasteless. If you want to make the world tasteful, so we have to salt in our lives, ourselves. These are some reasons why Jesus said the salt. But if we will see the second part of this verse, we, we can see there is another thing which I want to discuss with you. In first part of the verse, we heard it was mentioned that you are the salt of the earth. This is the first part of the verse. Now, we will see the second part of the verse. What does it say? <clears throat> but if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of man. Trodden under the foot of man, it means something rub, rubbing, insulting, discouraging the thing that is rotten. Trodden, sorry, trodden. If the salt lost his saltiness, then it must be trodden under the foot of man. Why did Jesus said this? If we see, when, Roman were, when Romans were ruling in Israel, then salt was used in huge quantity. Even the Roman government used the salt as a trade purpose. As I told you, told you before, even the salt was used to pay the salary to the Roman soldiers. But, but some fundamental Jewish, they add sand in the salt. They add sand in the salt, then that salt became tasteless, useless. Even that salt is, would not be able to put in the fields. Then the Roman governments, what they did, 
they put salts in the streets. <laughs> they put salts in the streets because that salt was useless. There is no usage of that salt. And people walked on it. People walked on it and trodden under the feet. Trodden under the feet. That's why Jesus said, if the salt savor its taste, it must be trodden under the foot of man. But what does Jesus want for their people? Jesus never wants that their people should be trodden under the feet of man. This is not Jesus said for the disciples. This is also said for us, for you and me. Jesus doesn't want that we live such kind of lives in which we trodden under the foot of man. We are precious. I have told you many qualities of the salt, but there is different. There, there are two kinds of salts. One salt is trodden under the foot of man. The other salt has many qualities. It, it, it saves. It's blessful. It's used as a covenant. Jesus does not want that his people become the salt which trodden under the feet of man. He wants we should be like a salt which is purified, which heals, which preserves the lives, which dissolves, but don't lose the taste which is available for everyone, everywhere, which is used for the sign of loyalty, brotherhood and friendship. Jesus wants from us that we should be like such kind of salt. The third part of the verse, which teaches, but if the salt has lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? This is a question mark. When I was reading this verse, I found a question mark over here. And this question mark, this question was raised by the Jesus. If the salt has lost his taste, then how it would be salted? If a person who is living trodden life, rejected life, how he can shift it into the respected life? If a person living his life in sin, how he can come to the Jesus? How he, how he can save? There is a question which is raised by Jesus Christ. So we find an answer in the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 49. For everyone shall be salted with fire. And every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost his saltness, wherewith ye season it, have salt in yourself. This is an order. This is an order. This is an order. Have salt in yourself. And have peace one with others. If we have lost the salt in our lives, we need to be salted. We need to be revived. How we can revive ourselves? Here, very clear, it is mentioned over here. Shall be salted with fire. Which fire? Anybody can tell me? Which fire? Or spirit fire. True. Jesus is the gateway. Jesus is the gateway to come in internal life. If we are in the category of broader life, we need to be shipped in the respectful life. If we are tasteless, we need to be shipped ourselves in tasteful. So how we can change our status? We need to change our status. How we can change our status? There is a very, very simple solution we can find in the Bible. We have to revive ourselves. 
we need to burn our spiritual illness. How we can burn our spiritual illness? We need to talk to God. We need to talk to God. We need to talk to God. Then God will let us know how we can be salted. How our discussions could be saltish. And how we can have salt in ourselves. If we became savor, tasteless, so it means we are living the rejected life. If we want to be a taste worthy, saltish life, so we need to revive ourselves. How we can revive? We can revive ourselves with the fire of Holy Spirit. If we have lost our savor, taste, we need to be revived. Revival could be fire, fire of Holy Spirit. We need to burn our spiritual illness with holy fire. We need to have salt in our discussion. Keep salt in yourself. This is the thing what Jesus wants from us. That's why Jesus said to his disciples that you are the salt of the earth. And if you lost your savor, means taste, then you will be prodded under the feet of man. Jesus wants to do, Jesus wants we to live a saltish life with full of blessings. Now it depends on you what kind of life you want to live. A savored life, which is trodden under the foot of man, rejected life, or prosperous life under the shadow of Jesus Christ, blessful life with the coordination of Jesus, with the coordination of Holy Spirit, with the coordination of Holy Bible. What kind of life we would like to live? There is a question for all of us. What kind of life we are living? Have we lost it our salt? Or we have saltish life? If you have the saltish life, then you should be thankful to the Lord. You should be blessful. Or is there a 50-50 and you have some guilty that I'm not that much saltish, I'm savor, I'm tasteless. So result is in front of you people. If you are living the tasteless life, to, sorry to say, you will be trodden under the foot of man. You will be trodden under the foot of Gentiles. You will be trodden under the foot of everyone. Now, it's depend on you people, what kind of life you want to live. Prudent life or blessful life? Prudent life or that life which help the people, which is tasteful for the others, or that life the people feel your presence. When you will not be there, they miss you. Why the God people is not here? Without them, we cannot feel comfortable in the sorrow. Without the presence of God's people, we cannot celebrate our happiness. So you should be the need of everyone. People feel your absence as the people feel the salt, the, the salt's absence in their food. If salt is less in your food, do you people wait for next day or call the salt, bring me the salt, I want to add in it because this food is not tasty for me. On this spot you people demand for the salt. If the salt is less in your food, need to taste your life as well. If you couldn't find the salt in your life, you need to demand now. And who can fulfill your demand? The Holy Spirit can fulfill your demand. You can get the saltish life right now. Right now. Jesus is here in the shape of Holy Spirit. We need to back from the Holy Spirit. Please, 
make me saltish. Make me saltish. When I talk, people know that yes, he is the man belong from the Jesus. When we behave, people know yes, he has the relation with God. When we talk, people impressed. Yes, there is a weightage in his talking. Need to need to check ourselves. We need. If you people really want that your life should be salted, please stand up on your seats. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This is the time. This is the time. We can beg from the Holy Spirit, the fire of the Holy Spirit, that Holy Spirit fire make us saltish. Our discussion should be saltish. I am the trodden person. I am the rejected person. I am the <laughs> tasteless. There is no vision. There is no mission in my life. Jesus, I present my life in front of you and I beg from you, please raise your hand, raise your hand and bless me. Make me saltish. Remove my savor. Remove my torrentness. I'm not for the torrentness. I'm your son. I'm your daughter. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I will present myself in front of you. Jesus Christ, I beg in front of you. Come Holy Spirit and touch me. Touch me. Make my life saltish. Make my life saltish. Then you can see the work of Holy Spirit in your life. Jesus will touch you. Jesus will touch you. Jesus will touch you and remove your all silver. Remove your all silver. Remove your all rejectedness because Jesus can save us. Hallelujah. I request the bishops, please come up and pray for them. Thank you very much.